black hoodie, I'm back cooking these goodies. Look at these views from cooking these foods. Yeah. Yeah, here I am on the road again. Yeah, here I am back on stage. Always start your day with a little savage ass fucking Metallica, okay, buddy guy. <laughs> Is that Metallica? I don't know. Is that Metallica? I have no idea. I should know because the city I live in uh, plays that music nonstop on what used to be the only radio station. Now we have a pop one and we have a gospel one actually. There's like a whole uh, church one that sings about God, like pop songs about God essentially. Um, and I think it's the Christian station more or less, but uh, I grew up on hard rock. Okay, so classic hard rock. Anyways, that's not the point of this video. The point of this video is that we are back in the whip again, and uh, it's for a good reason, and that reason is called Little Caesars Pizza. Now, I'm excited for this video for two reasons, uh, mainly because I've been craving Little Caesars for a super long time, and I just, you know, it's gotta happen. So it's on my crave, deep in my crave. Uh, second reason is that if you've been with me long enough, you know about my frustrations of getting a hot, hot pie. Uh, the thing about the world is delivery pies seemingly never come nice and hot. And I, as I've just gotten into my older age here, I've realized that a hot, hot pie is crucial. You need to have cheese pull. It needs to almost scald and burn off the roof of your mouth to be a really enjoyable pizza pie experience. So living my previous life, not having a, a, a vehicle to get hot, hot pies and smash in, now I have that life and I'm gonna live it to the fullest. So we're on our way to get a hot, hot pie and have it together in here. I may get some wings, I'm not sure. I'm still in the great debate about that. Now, the other thing about this video and what's gonna make it extra delicious is that uh, I am hung over, not huge actually, I, I, I emphasize that too much for what it is. I had some Betty by bedtime booze last night. I had, I don't know, you know, a good five drinks or so. Um, but you know what? I still woke up feeling it. it, it le it's left me with a deep, you know, cheesy, salty crave. So I'm aiming to rectify a very mild hangover, to be honest, but you know, a hangover nonetheless. And what does a hangover deserve? It deserves greasy, cheesy carbs with crispy pepperonis, lots of dipping sauces and potentially wings. I, I do feel that as such here. So uh, I'm excited to get to this. I've been craving it and it's real. It's a real, real thing. So needless to say, I'm jacked. Uh, I'm almost there right now. I'm gonna go in, pop in the order, chill in the truck for I'm hoping about 10 to 15 minutes, probably 15, more likely in this world, and uh, come back and I'll see you with a fresh hot pie. I can't wait to get a beautiful cheese stretch and just mash out on this grub with you because I am also starving due to the fact that I haven't eaten since yesterday's video, the gyros and the picnic in November. Hope you enjoyed that one, but haven't eaten since then. So it's been almost a full 24 hours since I've eaten as well as I've had these drinks, right? So, you know, the crave is really, really real. So I will see you soon. <laughs> the objective is complete. We have secured the load. Oh, fuck, I can't wait. I'm gonna go park it and we're gonna get into it. Oh man, I'm channeling my inner Steven Sushi on this one. Bruh, the jacket had to come off for this one. I swear, I gotta bring you guys down in for a closer look. Closer look, just the dry, but then I got barbecue on the side, which I'm gonna go ahead and give you guys this little barbecue porn moment. Hoo-hoo wee! <laughs> gonna shake those up and get them sauced. Secondary reveal, sauced and tossed. Come on. All right, time is of the essence here, but here is the great reveal. Oh, oh, in all of its wonderful glory. Double cheese pepperoni, hot out the oven. Let's do this. Please allow thy spirit of Stephen Sushi to enter thy body. Okay, here we go. Ranch, which piece is the golden one? The golden piece. There it is. Dunking in that ranch. Oh. To the hangover gods. 
we enter a ride together. Enjoy. Mm. Really? We got dogs popping off. Mm, there it is. The mouth scold. Mm. Okay. These dogs gotta go. That's just not gonna work. Oh my god, you guys. The crisp on the pepperoni. Just activated. So hard in my mouth. Pause. <laughs> But amazing. So amazing. As you'll notice, the beanie does not exist today. And that is because, once again, it's even hotter now today than it was yesterday. So we're back rocking the fitted hat, which is the one I bought yesterday at Sport Check. I know y'all get sick of these close ups sometimes, but we got crisp on that crust. Pizza is a safe car food. I can definitely say that. Okay, before we get to a wing, I gotta show you one other thing. <laughs> one of the best hangover cares you guys know i love icy cold beverages right well what's better than a thirst buster aka a slurpee this is coke full sugar brain freeze territory but i welcome it nothing better <clears throat> during a hangover than freezing cold, sugary drinks in your mouth. And this, my friends, is the uh, end all be all, most exceptional ver version of that, you know? Fresh ranch for the wings, couldn't hold back on the ranch. Here you are. Are they all drums or do we got some flats? We do have some flats and we got some drums. I think it's pretty much equal. I'm actually gonna go pull a crazy move and go Mr. Drummer Boy. Mr. Drummer Boy, that doesn't make any sense. I'm gonna go drummer first. I gotta say, I gotta say two things. First thing, out of all the pizza places, that have wings, I like Pizza Pizza's wings. They're pretty high level. My only concern is 
And I don't know why most pizza places do this. Papa John's, Domino's, Gino's. I think Pizza Hut might be the least of the offenders. But why don't they have like proper fried crispy wings? I noticed that all pizza places have these very soft, you know what I mean? Almost oven roasted type wings. I just feel like wings are supposed to have a crisp. It's just a bit of a bummer. I feel like wings just should be crispy, but very rarely are any pizza places wings actually crispy. It's just a bit of a mystery to me, as is the straw. I feel like it's just too big. Oh man, truth be told, I haven't had, I hadn't, I hadn't had one of these in probably, I don't know, I want to say like a good five years at minimum, at maximum, like a decade. I just wrote them off as like a childhood thing, like a childish thing, like who drinks, who, who in their adulthood actually goes and like drinks a froster, right? I was super hungover one day, like a month and a half ago. I went to the store looking for some, like, just pop. And I saw that machine, and I saw that cold, those ice crystals just swirling. It hypnotized me. I said, I'm about to get some coke and put it on ice anyways. Let me go ahead and get a froster. Took a sip. Changed my whole life. I was like, damn, baby. You're really doing it. You are really fixing what ails me right now. And so for the past month, month and a half, I've been low-key addicted. Every once in a while though, maybe once a week. When I'm out on my cruises, doing my thing, pop in. Grab a snack size. Mm. Sauce pocket. Just for a little sweet treat. To beat the heat. <laughs> Even though it's winter time. This meal, absolutely killer right now. Perfect pepperoni bite on the top, two eyes there, and look at this Look at this equator line of sauce. You know that's right where it's gonna tear. You can see the line, the fault line. Fault lines in my jaw. Why I tell you? Told you.
Mm-hmm. Just another side note thought. Is anybody else just tired, sick of the world right now? Especially with this whole election thing. I just feel like the whole world is a series of people with differing opinions bitching at each other attempting to argue points that never come to any sort of sort of resolve everybody's wrong in each other's eyes or you know there's certain camps of schools of thought of people who are like no no we got it figured out no no, no we got it figured out You're right, we're wrong. <laughs> and vice versa. It's just exhausting, man. Can we all just admit that we're a bunch of clueless species living in a fucking mystery? That ain't nobody got the answers. We should all just be able to do what we do and try not to harm and oppress and control people in the process. Like, you know, I think that's a pretty basic strategy for just all us all trying to move forward in a collective way, but therein lies the problem. Is the division. And the complexity and the dynamic of <clears throat> of life, of everybody having a different set of cards and born at a different time, born to different circumstances, born in a different part of the world. Blah, 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 blah. And then we have the, of course, you have to factor in the structures in which we live, like capitalism and stuff like that, and and how we have to operate within the parameters of these structures that essentially make the world go around like I couldn't be having this pizza and stuff and it'd be in this truck and all this stuff if these industries these 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 engines of business didn't exist and people didn't show up to do these to do these jobs and it's just everything's so complex and dynamic So I really understand the arguing, the bitching, the bickering. It's just that, you know, people in certain camps of schools of thought, a lot of times they're in their ideals are I don't know, seeking, hoping, hoping for that, the final resolve <clears throat> will be to their favor. And of their ideal that they've set forth. But that only benefits that camp of people. What benefits one camp of people harms another. So it's just this revolving door of complexity and dynamic 
that there is no one utopian answer for it. And I'm exhausted. <laughs> I'm exhausted living in it. I'm exhausted hearing about it. Constantly. And I'm extra exhausted because <clears throat> I have like a bird's eye view of this whole shit, right? I don't subscribe to any of this shit, man. Like I just, I try to observe everything from a bird's eye view. And you just, it's so funny to watch people so strictly rigid in their ideals. So firmly defined by their convictions of their of their ideas and principles relative to what they see as the right way to be in this world. And the fact of the matter is there isn't there's wings sliding on the mighty dashboard, but there is no right way to be in the world. So I'll just watch. I watch the, the this election thing and this. It's a whole, it's all a horse and pony show. All that shit's a fucking facade, anyways. And uh, it's just exhausting watching people battle and waste their energy. You know, just stirring it like it's just the pot is just always being stirred. <laughs> and it just creates a division and separatism and and um agitation and angst and hate towards one another. And I just sit back and I laugh at it because it's so It's so primitive seeming, honestly. Like, if you're not spiritually up here, like, third eye shit, like, watching this shit, then you can't understand. And this video is going to be not for you. Like, you're going to probably be feeling a type of way and maybe tripping out. But I had my spiritual awakening or my enlightening or whatever like 10 years ago so i've been sitting back just collecting data watching all this shit occur knowing what i know right being able to perceive reality from a different you know dimension in space like, essentially i don't know that's the best way i can put it like breaking the shackles of I don't know, my programming. You know, since birth, how, how we've been raised and programmed to believe in the system and the structure that we've been raised in and placed in. And when you mentally disconnect from that and you no longer define your reality relative to, to what you've been programmed and conditioned and, and told, then this whole thing becomes, like I said, la almost laughable, like a farce. You just look at it, you're like, I don't know, you just question, you, you just look at it from a different angle, but I can also see the, like the utility and what, and how we're structured and, and, and the function that it serves to the, to the world and, and to the machine that we live in, you know, call it society. I understand the, the necessary requirements and parts of it, but there's a lot of it that's really broken, especially when it comes to like classism, the working poor, and the tyrannical 1% that just basically controls, you know, almost the, 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 the global, I don't know, pace, just the, the, 
the, the tyrannical one percent like it just they they have the final say behind all the closed doors like there are puppet masters in this bitch <laughs> real shit and people like mm, i don't know i just we're so in the in the minority i should say in terms of like our awareness that it's just like all the only thing you, you can do is sit back observe remain a little bit quiet really because you understand that you need to like not let your energy and your vibration be affected by it as much as you possibly can but to insert yourself as such a minority you're not going to achieve any sort of change there's, there's too many people that are um dependent on the structure and these beliefs of of what we live in and uh, people will go to war for it. We, people will die for it. People will fight you for it. People will argue to, to their last breath for it. And uh, it just get, it gets exhausting. So you just sit back. Someone like me, I sit back. I kind of camouflage. I, I blend in, you know. I make these videos. They seem low-level content, like, like low-vibrational content. It's just entertainment. And it's food. And yeah, it's not the best food for you, but that's a choice that I'm making with my entire capacity about me, right? I know this. I'm not making these choices out of ignorance. I, I sign up for the consequences that come with eating like this. And those are mine to bear and hold. It's not like I'm dumb or ignorant to the facts. I know this isn't, you know, the ideal thing to eat or to uh, promote and perpetuate but you know I'm just in the matrix just like you and if I can't bring about a change and like overthrow the shit because I'm in such the minority in, in, in terms of my school of thought and my awareness then fuck it i'll blend in mitigate my energy the energy vampirism that happens with just existing in the world looking at the world watching the news being on social media like paying attention to the world and the world narrative i'll try to mitigate that as much as i can live in my own little single solo bubble of peace eat my pizza And know what I know and connect with the, those few people who are also on my level I've had people reach out from the channel into my inbox we've had discussions it's very few people though that like are where I'm at so you know I've re I've unveiled this side of me here and there But it's a lot to take in. It's a lot to handle for a lot, for some people. And I'm gonna tell you what: YouTube doesn't like it. Google doesn't like it. The controllers of the of this platform they don't like people saying shit like this. So therein lies another catch twenty two. Trying to do something on here that fits their preferences, shit that they'll push which is the low vibrational shit. And if you bring this type of content, awareness content, they don't like it. This is the truth of the matter. And you might want to call me, well, I'm tripping out. Da, 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 da. No, I, I exist on this side of the camera. I, I run the business through, like I look at the analytics, I look at everything. Like I, I understand, I read all the terms that Google has set forth and YouTube and uh, like I know what's up <laughs> so I'm not tripping I know what's real I just hope that you eventually can too so hopefully this uh, video might have clicked a few switches for you if not then that's fine too just keep doing your thing we're only here for a good time, not a long time, right? But yeah, 
video started with the spirit of Stephen Sushi and ended with that of David Icke. <laughs> if you don't know him, look him up. Till the next one, you know what to do. Eat good, live well, and stay true.